Welcome back, everybody, to Bastion. Uh, you may remember from last time, we uh, escaped from our beds. We were reunited with our best friend, Hammer, and uh, have found our way to this lovely spot where we placed this crystal we found on the way and met the stranger, unless it was the narrator. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and continue our adventure with the kid, otherwise known as this little white-haired fellow here. Uh, so, uh, the last thing we did is we just brought everything back to life. I don't know what we're doing now, uh, but this little, this place found out, came back up. So the foundation? Maybe that's, maybe that's like the next zone that we're going to? Let's see what else, what else do we have? Like this, I, got, I got nothing here, nothing here. The Bastion ain't gonna build itself. Well, not entirely. Sort of hair that I can build? Can't oh. be too careful these days. Apparently I can just fall off though, that's... Well, well, I, don't, I don't know how to build anything, so... Let's go where it looks like we can do something. Let's go to the foundry. Kid partners what to build. Apparently this is... This is where I could decide to put my my gun shop next to my uh, next to my bar. So uh, let's let's go ahead and make an arsenal first. All right. Ooh, a mirror. Well, what is a mirror shield? Bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own if we have to. This is a place. This isn't a place of peace. Things have been trying to kill me since I started playing this game. There. New weapon. Ain't much kid can handle with hammer and bow in hand. Hold up. Hold up. Alright, mirror shield, what is this? A secret technique that automatically counterblocks all oncoming attacks for a short time. Made famous in a spectacular showing in the bullhead court. Whatever the bullhead court is. Um, and you know, I think I think that's a, I think that's a great idea to have this this shield that could you know keep me from dying. But I think I'd rather just continue to shoot things and have massive waves and stuff die. So, moving on. And, uh, well, hopefully moving on. I'm not sure where we're going yet. Alright, can I place anything anywhere else here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Can I act with you? Nope. Kid don't know what's out there waiting for him. Kid got no clue at all. But well, let's talk about these gears and hope that it takes us where we need to go. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind to distant lands. That sounds amazing. Alright, so I guess I'm at the Bastion. Wharf District we cleared and it kind of fell apart on us, so we don't want to go there. Uh, Breaker Barracks. Uh, the Breakers once honed their skills and focus with their bows. That sounds great and all, but let's go ahead and uh, keep the story going so... I don't hope that that's what this is, because we have, a, we have a core detected here. More sparkly, shiny, pretty crystals. Which is uh, exactly what the kid wants. So, uh, the Workman Ward. Find it and bring it back. There may be useful supplies here as well. I like I like useful supplies. Uh, useful supplies should be... The Workman Ward. Them windbags used to keep the city humming along here. I'll teach you to push buttons while I'm talking. Alright. So, uh, if we're, we're going to keep things humming along here, let's head on out. Now he lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, I'm not sure if I want to head towards bad or wrong. But, uh... Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. <laughs> but which one? Yeah, since, since I haven't... I still haven't got a clue. Oh, I'm gonna have a drink. Oh, he heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. I, well, that's good, because I don't have my safety waiver signed by my parents anyway. Just about anything. 
set for this. It's quick for slicing and light enough to throw. What? A slash weapon. But but no, I I need I need my best friend back. He's he, that's not fair. My best friend is a hammer, not not a machete. Right, this seems pretty good though. And apparently comes right back. Move on. All right. What is that? Oh heck no. No, oh, this thing did some serious wrong by me last time. I'm not putting up with that again. Squirt lure? They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tame. Alright. No sign of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. Oh damn. So I've got, I've got a little fellow that can go about and do some bad business for me. Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. I, I, I really had better watch my step. What, what is? Oh, okay. So it kills for me. That's cool. I, I, I don't, I don't really want that. I want, I want back my, my, my murder. Those squirts goes. just don't know when to quit. Go ahead and keep ourselves at full health here. Alright, so, uh, apparently bad. Bad didn't do very well, but let's, let's try worse. Here's yeah, for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Alright, oh, hey! Hey, buddy! Hey there. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Alright, I don't, I, don't, I don't like this guy very much. Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Oh, that's what's up. Alright, let's see. So I have something heavy, which is an upgrade material for the Kale Hammer. A chunk of a precious alloy found deep underground. The staple diet of gas fellows, also used in all manner of industry. Alright, well, I guess that, that would make me pretty gaseous too if I was eating metal all the time. Uh, and something stringy, an upgrade for the Breaker's Bow, a stretch of Miesgut prized by bowyers and pelt ball fans. I don't know what a pelt ball fan is. One more reason for the popularity of beast hunting. Alright, so I guess maybe maybe there's like other reasons for hunting beasts. Like maybe maybe like a meese stole is like a thing in this world. You wanna like impress all your friends, you go out, you get like a meese coat and you hope no one throws like like uh, gas fell of blood all over you. Alright, let's see, what can, what, what can we do with this? Uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna try and upgrade this bow for us since I actually have that equipped still. Alright. Alright, speed string, plus 25% draw speed. Nice. I guess I start here. Uh, with upgrade. a good length of me scut, that bow's like new again. Because, like, my biggest problem with the bow so far is actually just getting it to fire quickly because it takes so long to draw it back. And hammer. What can we do with our hammer here? <laughs> Plus 50% damage? Seriously? Kids Sold. lifelong friends looking fit to keep on fighting. Oh, okay. I can, I can s battle. Oh, okay. So when I buy this tier, I get to pick between these two. I can get increased crit or just a flat bonus damage. Why would you ever go with crit? That's, that's absolutely absurd. Alright, so do I have, what are my weapons here? Plus two target penetration. So this lets me hit more things when I shoot. I think it's still better to shoot faster than, than to have it hit more things, just because it takes so long to charge this thing up. And sadly, still don't have my hammer, but let's see how fast Core the ain't here neither, so he's gotta guess again. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad, not too shabby at all. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. 
Well, Percy the Stitch needs to be sent to Ash anyway. Never much cared for that big wide grin of his. Percy the Stitch! And you know what happens to snitches. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently my little fella kills it before I can. That's cool. Yeah, bro. He heads for the biggest dump in town, Scumbag Alley. I mean, I'm running out of places to check. Oh, hey, no. Some scumbag still feeding off the city's own trash. Why didn't it just run off the edge? I don't feel like that was necessary. But I will take the spoils to let me. The oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Hey, Gershel. The calamity ain't done much for Gershel's sunny disposition. Shame old Gershel can't float like when he was a young fella. It doesn't look like any of those guys could float so much. They all just kind of fall. Oh man, I got more of those up? Alright. Alright, that's kind of cool. Alright, so is there a core around here? You got like, any more The rest crystals? of the path is gone for good. Oh. Any city crest won't bring it back. Oh, okay, so, so the city crest... Apparently, lets me revive Mario. That's 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 kind of important. That's something good no to core. know. No surprise. Like the gas fellas are hiding it from him. Damn you, gas fellas! Right, well, so I can fill my uh, fill myself up here. What is this? Something sharp. All right, something sharp is an upgrade material for the war machete. A batch of Zulwood leaves, best not handled barehanded. The world's sharpest blades are treated with their oil. Well, that's cool. Let's let's go upgrade real quick. We upgrade everything else. Hopefully, I have enough. I have enough crystal things to do this. All right. Okay. Let's see what we could do with this something sharp. I cannot. Attacks crippled foes. Oh, okay. Yeah, attacks crippled foes. So I guess that makes it move slower, and then it deals damage over time. That's that would be pretty cool. 20% critical hit chance. Way better than 10% critical hit chance. I think I could I could actually work with that in the future. Uh, not an option yet. So I guess I guess we keep going for the time being. Hope that uh, we could maybe we, like bust up the landscape a little bit more. No, not yet. All right. Up north is where the gas fellow Foreman used to live, tending to his flock. Oh, hey you guys. Oh, they have turrets up here? What? They cut this crap out. Alright. What the ragged hood? No white gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. Yeah. Kid is curious. Maybe this will tell us something. Alright, ragged hood is a memento. A soiled garment like the gas fellas wear. Gas fellas used to tend the mines, but now are storming the remains of Cal Calandia in alarming numbers. But for what? I'm gonna guess that they're probably storming uh, the Citadel because they don't look very happy. They look like a bunch of really grumpy fellas that are made out of gas. Oh! I really need to. I need to. I need to watch. I'm not doing that. I'm not looking for little crystal things. We got over this way. Got a, we got a crystal show. There it is, but it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. That's not good. That means I'm gonna have to kill somebody to get in there. A blustery old foreman's keeping his fellas in check, almost like he's showboating for the crowd. All right, let's get all of my little guys out. I better start doing some work here. And now there's a new marshal in town. Yeah, a new marshal called the kid. Get out of here, gas fellas. Nobody likes you. And I got a core to collect. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. 
kid's yeah. ready to go, and his ticket out's right where it started. Okay, let's head on back then. Thank you, narrator, because I was not sure where the hell I was going. Apparently that guy doesn't care that I killed his foreman. Oh, is this place still too sturdy? Maybe? Hopefully? I already had some pieces fall over here when I was destroying the turrets. Skywalk, let's go! Hey, I can build a forge at that. He comes also. back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack. The monument's calling for it. Where'd my old one go? Why'd you eat my old core? Dude, not cool. But maybe you can maybe you can make it up, stranger, and tell me about this ragged hood here. The windbags used to be alright. Then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Alright. Apparently getting a hood gets me a little lovable fella. Let's uh, let's hit up this monument, guys. Kid does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. The kid is amazing. I'm like super good at finding pretty crystal things. Alright, forge where I can fix stuff. Or the still I think we're gonna need to go through the distillery, because we did run into one of those in the last place. And, uh, Kid needs his magnet juice. I got new spirits in stock. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got here, fellas. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, so I can, I can actually, I can use more. That's awesome. Alright, let's see. What, 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 what new stuff we got? Alright, we went over the squirt cider. 10 health, not that great. Haven't really needed it yet. Freedom, 10% crit when it full health. No, thank you. All right, hearty punch. This is this is uh, looking new. I got a big, bright exclamation point next to it. All right, so let's see. Uh, plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Uh, damage surrounding foes if defeated. I guess. Uh, let's see. It's an aromatic beverage served piping hot. According to folk tales, it can almost wake the dead. And apparently, it gives me plus one chance to wake the dead if the dead is me. Uh, I'm not sure how that actually plays out. Let's see what our other options are. All right, 100% uh, crit rate when below 33% health. That that is something that I can get behind. So uh, this is a scentless yet very brisk beverage, brisk beverage of boiled rattletail whisker, used to revive patients in triage centers. All right. Uh, so right now of our second one, the uh, the wear whiskey, totally uh totally top of the top of the marks because we want to be totally awake when someone needs to triage us and we're like steps away from death right all right cinderbrick stout plus 33 percent speed while defending a spicy nutty flavors and a dry aftertaste very heavy and filling you know i think i think uh this the, the cinderbrick stout is looking really really nice because you know this involves me getting the crap kicked out of me first. So, so when I'm when I'm close to dead, I'm gonna do a lot of damage. But this is gonna let me stay alive longer and move faster while I'm doing it. Um, the, you know, the biggest the biggest problem with the shield seems like as long as I have it up, I can't really you know get around very much. So I'm gonna give this a shot. You know, take it to the, take it to the next world. See how that does for us. If uh, if no good, we'll run it back. We'll whip out the wear whiskey. So we got our Cinderbrick stout. We got our magnet juice, and uh... Cinder brick stout sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. Right, let's go, let's go see what, uh, what special stuff we have over here at the armory. Alright, squirt lure, that, that thing's gotta go. I think it's, I think it's just, no. Right, whirlwind, no. Let's go with, uh, let's go with our dancing shot, because I really like that. War Machete, you're you're cool, but but Kale Hammer is my Kale Hammer is like my bro. We've been together forever. I I you know I, I gotta roll with my homies, yo, and, uh, and so does the kid. So we're gonna roll with uh with our Kale Hammer, and our Breaker's Bow, both of which have been upgraded, uh, and that, that that seems good enough for me for right now. Let's get back on it. Uh, let's see where we can head off to next. To the Skyway! Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. At least you're not just sitting there, old man. 
Hey, okay, let's see, we got our melting pot. Uh, we have a core detected here. It has been, it has to be locked up in here somewhere amid all the car. That's not very descriptive, so... Stranger, tell us about the melting pot. The melting pot. Place hoarded all sorts of fineries from beyond the boundless sea. Alright, so this is like... This is our bits and pieces place. That could be, that could be kind of crazy to, to explore. And our uh, sundown pot. Uh, somewhere along this precarious walkway. Uh, I like to be careful everywhere, especially since I have a tendency to apparently fall off every every platform that I've been on so far. But uh, let's get a little bit more background on this place and we can decide where we're going. The sundown path. Lovely place for a stroll. Before the calamity, that is. You know, I think that any place that's a lovely place for a stroll is somewhere that we should go ahead and fix up. Especially because it looks like they have lots of mattresses and padding around here, so if I do fall off, Maybe it won't hurt so bad. Let's uh, let's let's turn ourselves down to Sundown Path. Couples used to walk the Sundown Path. Kid ain't here for pleasure though. I don't know. I think Kid and Hammer. <laughs> kid and Hammer could go on a romantic stroll here. I think I think that's what Kid and Hammer are gonna do. Thanks. Yeah, then, gonna, gonna break just about everything here. Somebody gets to the core before the kid. What? Hey, that's no. I that's that's my core. Floor starts giving way under the lightest step. Oh crap! A single panic squirt could bring the whole place down. No, please. The fragments of the old world rain in the sky. That is no good. At least it looks like, you know, once I get to one of these solid areas, I have a little bit more time. Let's clear up any turrets I can find on the way. Stray uh, valuables are lying everywhere. Kid thinks twice about risking his hide for him, though. Kid, kid actually isn't thinking that much about risking his hide for him. Kid kind of likes, likes all these yeah, valuables. Ain't exactly open to visitors no more. Security is all fired up. Oh, oh, are you serious? There we go. All right, so this this main path looks like it's kind of kind of safe-ish. Get rid of that guy real quick. There we go. See, the path was intended for leisurely strolling and such. Uh oh. But yeah. All right, that's what's up. Not so much for noise and tomfoolery. Yeah, well, pop full of noise is all I bring to the table, son. Alright, let's clear out some of those guys. I got, well, I got, I got one really good shot left. That is not good. I'm gonna like, break some stuff and find, uh, find myself another black bottle. Sky bridges link the path together. And the sky bridges are kind of kind of what I'm hoping on. Oh, seriously? One of them bridges whips the kid along. Alright. Okay, let's... Oh, that's narrow. What does the bronze spyglass do? Finds a spyglass. Like the ones they'd use to search the stars. I have a feeling the stars are the least of my concerns now, but I need to see what's in this thing. Alright, Bronze Spyglass is a memento, a portable telescopic lens used for stargazing. Sundown Path once held breathtaking views of the stars, the mountains, and the sea. Now, only the stars remain. But that's okay, because because me and Hammer, me and Hammer only need the stars. We're good. We got, we got, we got our little, our looking glass. Hammer and I can gaze at the stars all day long, while this place isn't falling down around our ears. Air travel always was an iffy proposition. Was that an even proposition? That seemed like a weird proposition. Feels like I barely made that. Quick Whoa. and careful is the only way to go. Hey, you know, I don't feel like you can really criticize me for this, narrator. There we go. All right, let's hop the on over. The calamity changed everything, even where the wind blows. Oh, that makes me think that I may not. I gotta start guessing where I'm going. 
Fucking hit up on me, sunshine. Oh, I love when there's a fountain nearby. Clear this guy out first. Anyone else around here? Anything else I can break? No, oh, those things are solid. Alright, let's go ahead and fill ourselves up just real quick and make sure. Let's well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we can do it again. Heck yeah, we can. No, I feel like the, the question bow. is. Alright. Though it might have been a bad choice for this level. I feel like I feel like maybe the who repeater would get a lot faster. Core? Oh, nice. Yeah, who could have taken a core? Who's stealing my well, cores? Ain't no survivor stole the thing. Alright, fellow. Scumbag ate it by mistake. What? I don't know if that would be my mistake. Grab myself some replacement parts. Tough Kill break. Him. Unlikely kid, that core ain't coming back. Oh no, I lost the core for good? But but I, I did I, I did so good, I came here first. We, we need the core to save no, the No, they used the to ship live munitions down the path. I'll take a hand grenade. Find time to find him. Uh oh. Am I... He's wise to right. toss those things plenty far away. Even yeah. gas fellas need some shut eye from time to time. They get real cranky. Uh -oh. oh, that that travels really far. Okay, so I can like take these. I'm guessing that hurts me too. That's that could be kind of bad. All right, send me long, Skyway. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question: Who else could have survived the calamity? Apparently not that kid and his little kitty cat, which I disagree with. I think children and kitty cats should always survive calamities. So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. We ain't gonna stop us, but that doesn't mean that we're like happy with our progress. You know, we we, we want to do better. The kid, the kid wants to do better. And next time on part three, the kid is gonna do just that. The kid's gonna find all kinds of cores. You guys just wait, and you find out next time because today we are about done. We have we have attempt. We we have built up another part of a. Uh, of our little base here. We got we got a distillery in, which I think all of us have, have decided is really important, and we made sure that it's next to next to our armory. Just we're trying to keep we're trying to keep a cannon here. So uh, that uh, that is all for today's uh, Bastion Let's Play. I hope all of you have enjoyed exploring this crazy colorful world with me as much as I have enjoyed trying to figure out what in the world is going on. We got a lot of questions to ask the stranger next time, so go ahead and check back in. We, uh, I look forward to seeing you guys. Y'all have a good night.